All right, so if you was here yesterday, I was supposed to get out story time. I truly, 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 truly apologize for fluking y'all boys, man. I truly apologize, you feel me, for fluking y'all. However, it wasn't on purpose. I had to go upstairs and do something. If you're watching this on YouTube, y'all did not get the last story time to 10K likes. Apparently, we're not powerful enough to get that done. So... I am going to give y'all one last fucking chance to get this story time that you're watching right now to 10,000 likes. If y'all get this to 10,000 likes, I will do a story time every Sunday. But y'all have to get this story time right now that I'm about to tell to 10K likes on YouTube. We not powerful enough, bro. Niggas that powerful. Bro, getting niggas to click the like but button is powerful. I don't even understand how it's that hard. Nigga, it's free. It's literally free. I don't understand how I say, yo, like the, like the vid, y'all, like the vid. And y'all don't like it. It's like so hard. I don't understand. He capping about y'all liking the video? <laughs> y'all be saying anything. But we gonna, um... We're going to get straight into it. We're going to get straight into it. So, today's story time. Um, I stopped telling y'all story times about my family and, like, the family altercations we had and the little fights we had. Because at the end of the day, it was like my family contacted me. They saw I was getting clout. And it was like, yeah, like, we'll appreciate it if you, like, stop telling our business. We got, like, people calling us and letting us know you be saying this, that, and the third and all this and all that. And in reality, I'm like, you know what? I'm going chill, you know? But... Recent events had led me to say fuck them. So, we're going to get back into the story times. Today's story time is about how I fought my grandma. Now, we're going to start off introducing the characters. I think I want to start actually, like, telling it, like, not di fuck Vicky. Fuck my aunt, nigga. Don't say fuck my aunt. Nigga said fuck my aunt. Fuck you. Look, though. Look, look, look. No, y'all saying, oh my gosh, no, not granny. Y'all, my grandmom's a dick rider, y'all. Nigga, I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, bro, my grandmom's a dick eater. All right, bro, all right, y'all not listening. All right, so look, let's hop straight into it. So look, 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 look. Y'all know if you are real old, like if you really pay attention, all the stories really connect, bro. All the stories really connect. So my mom got a job at Colonial Penn, so I told y'all, uh, I was at my grandmom's house a lot. I was at my grandmom's house a lot. Um, Colonial Pen, I think it was like, uh, health insurance, something, bro. My mom used to be on the phone, she'd go to Colonial Pen. She is working all these hours, just hours, back to back, back to back, back to back. So my grandma had to watch me, you feel me? She just kept dropping me off there. Now, I'm gonna tell you how my grandma, I'm a dick eater, right? Now, now, let, let's just hop into the topic of dick eating, and then we're gonna see what type of dick eater she is, you feel me? So, um, I really don't fuck with my grandma. A lot of y'all got, like, bonds with your grandma, I'm like, yo, I love my grandma to death, uh... I love my grandpop, all uh, this. First of all, one, I never, uh, I don't think I was, I don't think I ever had a real conversation with any of my grandpops. And my grandma, we've never been, like, cool. We never sat there and had a talk. She gave me a hug. I never went to her because I was sad. She never protected me from an ass whooping. It's like, you feel me? I was close to my mom, but it's like, my grandma, I don't know. I think, I don't know. She probably just drank too much for me to, I don't know. I don't know. My grandma drank a lot, though. But uh, my grandma's a dick eater. So I'm going to tell you how my grandma worked. My grandma need her a nice cold beer and some food, and she good for the rest of the day. That's my grandma. That's it. Y'all thought it was going to be complicated. It's not. That's all she need. All she need is a 40 and some food. Maybe a couple. Bro, you give my grandma some money, a 40 and some food, nigga? Nigga, she going to leave you alone for the rest of She's going to be the nicest person in the world. No 40, no manners. No food, no manners. No money, <laughs> no house. She be trying to kick niggas out. You can get the fuck out my house. But it's a 50-50. So y'all know how I said, you feel me? She got the 40, the money, and the food, and she cool? No. She, it's a, it's, she get those three, and then it's a 50% chance she cool. Because she might drink the beer and still snap on you. That's what I'm saying. She might still snap on you. It's a, it's like a lose-lose a little bit. It's like a lose-lose situation. L drink, 
Bro, L drinking D. I never tried it, but it just looked like piss. It's like, what the fuck? A 40, a 50, and a 60. They all look like piss. Bud Light, piss. I'm sorry. If you in my chat and you drink beer, I'm so sorry. You're done. You're done. If you under the age of 35 right now and you drinking a beer, you need your ass whooped. I'm so sorry. I, bro, drinking beer is so crazy. That's piss. Piss is good? What the fuck is this nigga talking about? The nigga just said piss is good. I hope you playing, brother. Now look. Now look, 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 look. Beer nasty as shit. What, you tried it? No. Right, look like he drank beer. Nigga. I look like a nigga who say, let me get a cold one and dick a can of piss. Come on, bro. That's not me. Y'all know that's not me. Don't ever play my hand. That's not me at all, bro. I'm doing a story time. I'm going to meet up with y'all after. Give me a second. The fuck? I ain't make myself clear. Now, my grandma's a dick eater. All right, this is how my grandma's a dick eater. Look, whoever got money, whoever got money in the house, whoever got money in the house, that's who she fucking with. Look, you just got paid food stamps. You just put some food in the house. Feel me? You got, you got, you pass her a 20 and tell her go get you a beer. She cool with you. That's, is that not dick eating? Whoever got the cheat, she basically a gold digger. She ain't digging for gold though. She digging for the bare minimum. She like a co a coal digger. Co call her a coal digger. Niggas drinking Miller Lights and Budweiser's, fresh cans of 40 Locos, anything that's pissable. Anything, uh, anything, anything golden. Can of piss. So, you feel me? But that's why she a dick rider. So, we're going to get straight into it. Because y'all going to see how she how she really be glazing when we get into it. Alright? So, boom. My mom got a job and she was getting really, really, really busy. No, for the... Oh, hold on. Let me give a disclaimer. For the people who like, oh, with disrespect, I'm always going to tell it how I see it, how I see adults. So, as a kid, if you see a person that's supposed to be your grandma give a fuck more about a drink of piss... More than her family, that's how you're going to describe her. You feel me? It's like, Mom, can you watch the kids? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I'm not watching your kids. I didn't have kids. My kids grown. All this. You give her a beer, now she watching us? Nigga, that's dick eating. That's crazy, right? How else am I supposed to talk about her? I'm supposed to say she was the nicest lady? She's a piss warrior. Oh, Mom, you think I can use the access card? Y'all want to eat up all my food. Y'all grown. Buy your own shit. All oh, this. Give her a beer. Now she giving you the card. Dick eater. That's dick eating. How else am I supposed to talk about her? So all the niggas who like, yo, you talk about your grandma I'm like that, I'm going to call it how I see it, bro. I'm going to call it how I see it. I get my ass whooped. Guess what she probably doing? Drinking. She never made me feel comfy. Oh, come here. Give me a hug. I wanted a good grandma. That would have been nice, but I didn't. So that's how she get talked about. Now, my mom got a new job. My mom got a new job. So I had to be like at my grandma's house. My mom used to do nut shit like, oh, yeah, you know, could you watch him? My grandma say no. She leave me anyway, though. Like, bro, now my grandma forced to watch me on some weird shit, bro. So and then my grandma used to take it out on me. So if my mom just dropped me off and just leave, she on some, mm. Oh, so what y'all planned this? Talking to me, bro. Like, I had an elaborate plan to be watched by her. If it was up to me, we would be at. I would be at my house alone. But my mom, I was too young to be alone. So, like, it's like she would just talk to me. Like, bro, what you on? And, bro, she always trying to whoop somebody's ass. I'm trying to tell you. She never wore a belt in her life. She got the belly to wear. It hold the pants up for her. So she don't even wear no belt. But she always want to whoop ass with a belt. Oh, I forgot, y'all. I forgot. The only thing she care about more than her drink is her is her furniture. She grabbed new couches back to back. Bro, grandmoms care about couches so much. Couches don't matter. I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. They love a good couch. She tried to put plastic over it. Y'all already know she did. She tried to put plastic. Oh, you going to fuck my leather up. No sleeping on my couch. No sleeping on my couch. It's a fucking couch. Bro, I'm trying to sit down on the couch to watch TV, and she on some, on my new couches, though. On your new couches what, <laughs> bitch? Like, let me watch TV. I'm trying to tell you, bro, she on straight bonkers shit. Like, bro, let me use the couch. It's a, bro, what's a couch for, bro? 
She got a new item and it got pull out seats. She she she's flexing to all the family. Yeah, I just got the new I just got the new round table in the middle of the floor. You pull out the chairs up under it. It go it fold back into one. I'm like, oh grandma, let me see. No kids, no kids, no kids, no kids, no kids on my get the fuck off my shit. Ready to slap my head and shit. And don't let her spill spill her beer. <laughs> it's over for you, King. It's over. Don't let her spill her beer while she trying to fuck you up. Because then it's your fault. She going to fuck you up. I got fucked up a lot. She whooped my ass more than my mom ever whooped my ass. My mom whooped my ass a good amount of times. My mom didn't unnecessarily whoop my ass like a black mom. Like, oh, I'm whooping your ass just for nothing. But she whooped my ass a good amount of times. My grandma whooped my ass the most out of anybody in my life. Swear, Swear to God. She just whooping my ass, fixing her living room, and, and drinking beers. No, that's what I'm saying, bro. You used to get whooped with a paddle? <laughs> Not I. She'd have been got her ass whooped. She had to get her ass whooped this time. All right, so look. My mom left me there, right? So my mom basically was on a type time, like, uh, she used to do these random trips to Miami, weekend trips. Her things was weekends, right? That's when weekends was big. I think we all getting, like, older. Weekends don't feel like weekends no more. Like, when you go to school and it's like, oh, it's the weekend, it's like, bro, it's just one day off for real. Weekends used to be like, yo, you could do something real big on a weekend. You got three days, two days, oh. A weekend is one day. You feel me? My mom used to be on weekend trips with my friends, work every day. On But on the weekends, I'm going to turn up. I'm going to go out with my friends, all this. And salute to my mom, bro. When y'all have a kid, bro, when y'all have a kid, I don't want y'all to be like, damn, bro, I can't live no more. Find a babysitter and turn up on the weekend, bro. It's, it's I'm glad my mom did that. You feel me? I'm with my mom Monday through Friday. Some, some weekends, she stayed with me. And some weekends, she turned up, bro. Still live. Live your life. But... She like yeah like she 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 told she used to tell me what it is so maybe maybe my grandma was right it, maybe it was a plan but at the end of the day if my mom say I'm gonna drop you off at your grandma's house right and she tell me I'm going away for the weekend and she leave what the fuck am I supposed to do to my mom to be like no like you not doing that to grandma she gonna slap the shit out me and I'm still gonna go there so why not just say okay and and just you feel me. That's what I, that's all I'm saying. So boom, my mom go to work that Friday, but she not coming back. She gonna go to the house, get some clothes, and she going out with her friends. She had some uh some fat light skin John as her friend, bro. She was so nice to me, bro. She was like a god mom I never had. She was on a type time like just giving me money. You feel me? Uh, it was some gay Puerto Rican bull. You feel me? Bro, I don't know how, but this nigga always had money, or maybe he didn't. The more you get older, you realize. Even when niggas think you got money, you really don't. Niggas probably think like, yo, Rod Rich, my bill's high as shit. I be paying bills, bro. I'm broke. I'm going broke. I'm broke, y'all. That's why y'all got to click the like button. But niggas don't got what they got, but he looked rich from my standpoint. The nigga was taking the trips. He drove a Jeep. What else, bro? He, he had all this shit, bro. He had a Rolex. He just was buying shit, bro. I'm not going to lie. He's buying shit. That's why I'm saying. Rich niggas don't even show what they got, bro. Y'all know my richest month? The month I wore all UA. The shit's so cheap. Don't wear designer, y'all. Wear cheap shit. Find you a cheap brand, fall in love with it, you're going to stay rich. I think I'm about to switch to champion. I don't know who's switching with me. No? All right. My fault. <laughs> my fault. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> my fault. My fault. All right. All right, all right, my fault. I'm going to stay with Under Armour. All right, my fault. All right. <laughs> no, he was, a, he was a rich. No, he was a rich. He was a rich nigga, bro. He was a rich uh, poppy. No, I don't want to call him poppy. No homo. Why all the poppy store names? Poppy, pop, papa, all this. All that shit is gay. Mommy, mama, all this kink shit. I'm not going to poppy stores no more. That don't sit right with me. I hate that shit. Uh, Back to the story, though, bro. The first day was Friday, you feel me? It's just me and my grandma. We actually had a pretty good day. She had two cold ones in her... And mind you, she had a mini fridge in her room. She used to save the snacks in her room. Mini fridge full of beers and waters. And she used to be cool. Like, she had two cold ones in her fridge, bro. She used to sit on her step, y'all. She'd wake up in the morning, sweep in front of the door, 
holds the holds the curb down, makes sure in front of the house clean, and sit on her steps. I think that's true peace. Maybe my grandma wasn't crazy. Nigga, imagine being able to wake up at 10 a.m. and sit on your porch until it get dark. Go upstairs, lay on your bed. No, that's ass. That ain't peace. My fault, y'all. I'm mistaken peace with boredom. Uh, she go lay in her bed and just and just uh sleep. That's ass. That's actually ass, bro. Wake up, sit on your step until it get dark. Speak to every nigga that walk by. And and sweep your fucking uh curb. That's ass. Accepting boredom is peace, gang. Not at all. Accept accepting your life. Accepting your life is peace. My life's gonna be turned. That's my peace. That's ass. Nigga, you wake up at 10 a.m., sit on your step until 10 p.m. Go upstairs, drink another beer, lay down, wake up, cook breakfast, sit on your porch, wake, bro. It's like you see the repeat, bro. That's so ass. She was just too happy she made it through segregation. <laughs> ah, they talking about she happy she made it through segregation. That's crazy. Chill, bro. Chill. Chill, bro. Chill, 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 chill. Bro, I almost died. All right, look, look, look. Oh, how much on a timer? How much on a timer? How much on a timer, bitch? I mean, fuck. Hey, hey, Siri. Hold up. Oh, shit. 15 minutes. All right, let me get to it. All right, look. Bro, first day, me and my grandma had a good day, bro, because she had some beers. She was really chilling, bro. She was really chilling. She was drinking her beers, cool day. She bought me an ice cream. Chinese store was right across the street from the house. You feel me? I went to the tiny store. She was getting me snacks. I just uh, watched Cubo all day. You feel me? Ate food, chilling. Everything was kind of calm. You feel me? Everything was calm, bro. Everything was really chilling. Now, that's when Saturday come up. Saturday come up. My cousins come over. This one shit start getting rocky. This one me and my me and my grandma start bumping heads. When you when an adult is aware that she's bumping heads with you, and and yes, bro, I said she. When it's a girl adult and she knows she bumping head with you. She's going to make your life hell. Everything you do is going to be considered smart, nigga. Everything you do is because you getting smart. Just that in the third. Just that in the third. All this, all that, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Now, my grandma, the reason we even butt heads from the beginning is because she's the creator of the bullshit uh, rules. The uh, sodas are not for kids. Uh, too much candy is bad for you. Like, she got teeth. Like, what? how are you going to tell? I got teeth, nigga. Not too much juice, but she's making it. I like, uh, what what else? Like just the dumbass rules. Like um, like you're gonna eat what's in this house. If I sit here and tell you, li really listen to me, really listen to me. If I'm a grown ass man, I walk in your house, and you making you making yourself uh, chicken tenders or fries. Let's just say I'm allergic to. So I'm just just a, just an example. Don't try to say it's dumb. Just an example. I say, yeah, I'm allergic to potatoes. I just take tenders. You're going to tell me, nigga, you're going to eat these fries because I made them? I don't give a fuck what you don't eat. Huh? She, yeah, you're going to eat this food. No sodas for the kids. Not too much juice. Bro, and then it's a loop. It's a loop. Really think about how many beverages it is in the world. Every beverage in the world is made with water. It's all the same beverage if you really think about it, nigga. It's only water, juice, or soda. That's it. That's the only shit you got. Nigga, I get a water. It's why you drinking all the waters. Did you finish your last water? Yes, I did. Don't grab no more waters. She make juice. Yo, grandma, get some juice. All you want is juice. All you want is juice. Grandma, I could get a soda. Soda's not for the kids. Soda's not for the kids. I try to drink milk. Milk is for cereal. Milk is for cereal. What the fuck am I supposed to drink? Nigga, I even was courteous enough to say, all right, I'm going to go to the sink. All that water. Stop drinking all that faucet water. Then you're not going to eat your food. What the fuck am I supposed to drink? It's nothing to drink, nigga. It's nothing to drink. She's the creator of these dumbass rules, nigga. These rules dumb as shit. 
It don't make sense. None of her rules make sense, nigga. Her rules just dumb as shit. Drink your spit? Bro, when niggas say, ah, where your bath? No bath, no bath. They could have really came in my grandma's house and roast the shit out of me. I never had a bath. She was dicking me bad. Parched this shit. Oh, grandma, I could grab a water. No, you had one earlier. She on all that. I could grab juice, grandma. No. Juice tomorrow. She calculating my juice. I could have said, grandma, I can't breathe. I need the faucet. Don't turn my faucet on. The water bill high. She's the, bro, nigga, I don't know how to fuck my aunts and my mom grew up with her, bro. They used to tell me stories like, yeah, she made us whole books and she whooped our ass. Like, she used to come out and, and, and catch us with our friends and embarrass us. Like, she just, like, she just, bro, she's a fucking cold weirdo. <laughs> Look, though, my cousins come over the second day. The first day was cool. The third day is when we fight, but the second day is when we start bumping heads, nigga. We start bumping heads. My cousins all come over. She cooking dinner. You feel me? She love cooking dinner. And, and mind you, my mom used to always be like, yeah, your grandma, she a little heavy on the salt. Make sure, you know, she not, like, too heavy on the salt. We don't want her to, like, you know, get high blood pressure. Like, your grandma make everything salty. So I'm just like, you know, like, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm young, bro, and a little salty. Like, it wasn't, yo, it wasn't like my grandma know how to cook. But but I, now that I'm older, I taste it like, grandma. Take somebody gotta take the seasoning salt from her, but like like she not she she y'all know how white people don't add no seasoning. Oh she she black as shit. She won't she won't she won't <laughs> she won't hesitate. She from here with it. Get every every inch of the uh, every inch of the steak. You not gonna take one bite of the steak and it's not seasoned, nigga. That's why look look. It might not be good for her, but for me, I fuck with the food. That's personally. Now that's one thing she can she can cook, nigga. She can cook. Don't play with grandma. Look, look, and all y'all think your grandmas can cook. Y'all grandmas can't cook. I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm the pickiest nigga in the world. I know who can cook, nigga. All I got to do is eat it. I got taste buds. We both got it. So if I eat it and I say, nigga, this is nasty, and you look me in my face and you say, damn, this shit busting. I'm going to look at you like, yo, you're a dumpster. Nigga, you're nasty. Nigga, I'm not saying I got higher taste buds. I'm just saying, like, it's not like, oh, it's okay, and it's like, oh, it's good. It's like, nigga, this is trifling. Like, I could spit this up, and you're telling me it's, it's, it's delicious? All y'all grandmas can't cook, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all grandmas can't. Not all y'all grandmas can't cook. And I think it's a thing in y'all heads that, like, oh, grannies are supposed to cook. So, like, they know how to cook. But at the end of the day, y'all, y'all grandmas can't cook. It's just like, not all y'all, not all y'all. So if you like, yeah, you fried. Not my grandma. My grandma could cook. If it don't apply, let it fly. But if y'all know y'all grandmas can't, y'all know who I'm talking about. I have, bro. It's been times, bro. I, I didn't, I didn't fuck with my, I didn't fuck with my family, my family on my mom's side for the last four or five years, nigga. Right? I've been going over to my friends' houses, and they, I'm like, oh, Thanksgiving, ah, let's chop it up, let's go, right? Yeah, like my dance, my fault. All right, so look, I'm going over to my friend's houses, and it's like, yo, let me get a plate. Let's go. Wash my hands. Hands out. Water drooling out my mouth, bro. And I look at the plate, and I say, what the fuck? I got candy yams on my cornbread. They can't even plate the shit right. I know you can't cook. You don't even know how to plate it. You can't even plate this shit. How can you cook if you can't plate? Why am I, why am I cornbread soaked? Why is it turkey on my plate? I'm going to keep it a buck. If y'all eat turkey, that's on y'all. I don't eat turkey, nigga. Some nigga going to say, yeah, your grandma just cooked it wrong. Serve me the turkey, and it's drier than my grandmom's. Nigga, I'm eating the mac, and the mac, they, oh, look, it's so cheesy. It's so cheesy. Oh, this shit bust. I put it in my mouth. This shit is not cheesy. Shit tastes like mac out the box. It haven't been it, bro. I used to think, like, damn, Grandma, these trays don't take two hours, three hours. No way macaroni take an hour or some change. Nigga, y'all be taking y'all shit out in 30 minutes. Y'all think, oh, look, so cheesy, it's busting. Ah, throw it in my mouth. You thought mixing all these cheeses and throwing it in them for 30 was enough? It's not. It's cheese and noodles. That's not macaroni. Shit be so disappointing. I'm sorry. You can't cook. 
I would call you. I would, bro. I'm not going to call my man's mom out. I'm not ever going to do that. Because that wasn't near his grandma. That was his mom. I started ranting. My fault. My grandma cooking for all of us. All the kids over y'all. She cooking for all the kids. It's like, ah, let's go. She cooking for the kids. <laughs> she cooking for us. The meal was actually bussing. I finished my plate. I go to grab me a soda. Look, I already know how to dick her, y'all. When she say, no, you can't have a soda, all you got to do is say, what you say? Start dicking your soda. What the fuck are you doing? What you say? I'm, I'm sorry. I used to hit that you all the time. I'm sorry, grandmom, no. No. Dicker. She just finished the fucking soda. I'm already dicking it, nigga. <laughs> dicking her. I'm sorry, no. Don't hit me. I already dicking the soda, nigga. Nah, bro. She caught on to my shit. She used to walk me to the fridge now, bro. It got bad. But nah, bro. I grab a soda. I pull my little trip. No, grandma. No. I'm drinking the soda. She finished the fucking soda. Bro, my cousin going dicky. Walk to the fridge and pull the same trick. No, grandma. The same shit. The same shit I said. Gonna walk to the fridge, grandma. No. But he not even act like he crying. He just, no, grandma. No. Dick in the soda. He not even saying no no more. He's dick in the soda. Burping and walking off and all that. She slapped the shit out of both of us. I didn't appreciate the slap. He kind of started the beef, bro. He kind of started the beef because now she feel like, oh, y'all think y'all getting over on me? Y'all think because your mom's not here, I won't whoop your ass? Y'all think y'all think I'm too old? All this, all this nut shit that has nothing to do with nothing. I'm like, Grandma, it's him. It's this nigga. I'm ratting. It's him. Bro, he did it. So I'm trying to tell her, like, it's him, bro. So she on the type time, like, no, nah, y'all want to be mad at me? Slaps the back of my neck. Wham. Wham, both of our necks. He crying. I'm just holding my neck in anger. I'm not even crying. It's like, why you just slap my neck? Because what she did was she act like she was just pissing. It was cool. And then she going to basically walk back and slap us. Like, it was, it was, it was, look, it was one of these. It was one of these. <sighs> we turn around thinking shit's sweet. And she come slap herself. So we like, you feel me? So I'm thinking, oh, shit, we just got, <sighs> we just got it. No, slap the shit out of us. Bro, and it's sting, like neck stinging and all that. I'm trying to tell you. That bro, the, the the hits you don't expect hurt the most. Dicked us. So I'm like, stop hitting me. You feel me? I'm like, stop how old is Granny? I don't know, actually. I'm actually bad with birthdays, nigga. Niggas be like, yo, what's my birthday? And they be smiling. And I just smile back in disappointment because it's like, I don't know your birthday. I don't know a lot of niggas' birthdays, nigga. And I don't feel bad for not knowing it either. That that need to be addressed, bro. Why are you mad I don't know your birthday? I'm not your mom or your dad. I don't care who you are to me. I don't know it. Like, bro, I really don't know your shit. And I don't give a fuck if you post... If, if, if 20,000 niggas post happy birthday on your fucking story and you tag them and I still don't tell you. Who the fuck gave you $20 the other day? I did. Not these niggas that's tagging you. I care about you, nigga. I don't have to. I don't care. I don't have to tell you happy birthday. It's not that deep. I don't care. I will really lose a friend over that. If you really find it that deep, I don't give a fuck. I see if, like, I see if, like, you my girlfriend. Or, like, if you my girlfriend. That's it. Even, even, not, even, even not even dukes. Because, mind you, when you come out, at what age is it, like, yo... Is do unless y'all do something every year. Like if it's if it's like every year we do something, it's like all right. I know your birthday because it's on a date. But what made me like study up? Like, all right, it's your birthday. Ah. Like I know my mom's birthday. I know Nas's birthday. I know Leek's birthday. And that's that's about it. Oh, and my little brother birthday. That's about it. Yo, I know a thousands of niggas, and I don't know y'all. I don't know y'all birthdays, and I don't feel bad either. <laughs> but if you ask me how old my grandma is. I know she over the age of 55. That's all I know. Because one of the times, I'm like, Grandma, how old is you? She, you never ask a woman, you never ask a woman her age. I'm like, you're not a woman, Grandma, you old. And then she slapped me. And then that's when my uh, my aunts was laughing. And it was like, yeah, she, 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 she over 55. That's all you need to know. But that was a couple years ago. So maybe she like uh, 60. But 
Oh shit, we gotta go soon. Alright, so look, let me get to it. Alright, look, 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 look. Keep getting slapped. That's what I'm saying, she be abusing me. She just be slapping the shit out of me for nothing, bro. Some weird shit. Just slapping my neck, like, what? Um... Basically, she mad about the soda shit. So we start bumping heads because I'm like, yo, stop hitting me. And she, what the fuck you say to me? What you say to me? What you say to me? Oh, let's, oh, let's. She got her beer in her hand. Yo, she want to be so hype, she spilled some of her beer, right? So she spilled some of her beer. She mopped this shit up. I'm tired of these fucking kids. Start stumping up the steps in her robe and her beat down ass slots that she had for years. Um, and, and, and that was about it. That was about it. You feel me? I'm, I'm really, I'm, 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 I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed it up to Sunday because this one, this where shit got bad. You feel me? My cousins go home. They they just was over there because I was over there. I kind of asked my aunts, like, can you leave my cousins here so I can play with them? Uh, less. But, you know, nobody be trying to leave their kids unless they really have to. Because my grandma really be on nut shit. Like, she'll keep hitting your phone up. Like, yeah, what time are you coming back? Yeah, because I have something to do. Like, bro, grandma, bro. My grandma literally goes to her house, the Chinese store, the poppy store, and something called the hut. Where it's... A bunch of other old niggas who drink and play card games. It, but it's all within the same block. Like it's a big ass circle. So she 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 don't have nowhere to go. To keep it a buck, like she, she could have just been on a type town. Like, um, what about I say she could have been on type town. Like just leave us in the house. But my grandma used to go there, bro. She loved the hut. I'm trying to tell you. Turn mic up. Turn your TV up or dick up. Yeah, that's your two options. But, um, boom. Let's get to it. Sunday go around, bro. And my grandma cooking again, y'all. My grandma cooked the nastiest meal I have ever eaten. And it's not because it was nasty. It was because I didn't eat it. Like, I, I literally didn't try it. Nigga, who the fuck eat llama beans? Leek, thanks for the five subs! Nigga, who eat llama beans, nigga? Are they llamas? Like, what the fuck is that? Are llamas real? Or do they come from llamas? It's probably balls. I don't know. Who eat llama beans, though? And say, mmm, llama beans. I'm gonna grab me another can. Nigga, she re-up on llama beans every single month. Nigga, llama beans? Black eyed peas? Who the fuck eat black eyed peas? Llama beans hit different? Not at all. Black eyed peas, nigga? It's peas that's black. Not eating that shit. She made llama. She called she, yeah. I'm going to show y'all. And this is how it started. Because, look, we started to bond together. We started to bond back up. And it was on a type time, like, yeah, boom. Like, uh, she was on a type time, like, basically, like, you know, this, my, my, she was telling me stories about her mom. Cause I, she she basically saw that I I saw she was drawing and she like yeah I know your mom be hard on you too and I don't this that and the third be happening but at the end of the day I love you and I care about you you know and you know that's how my mom used to be and she started getting into stories about her mom and all this and the next thing you know she started telling me look this is what my mom used to cook for me she made llama beans black eyed peas peas and steak. Huh? Three different peas that I'm not eating and steak. Soul food, little nigga? No, soul food is mac, yams, fried chicken, fish, not steak. And three peas, nigga. That ain't soul food. That's a protein meal. <laughs> No, no rice, nigga. No rice. She sit the plate down. She smiling. She sit her plate down. Family dinner time, huh? You think? We sit in there. You feel me? And I'm really, I'm really talking to her, and I'm enjoying myself. And then she, her smile go away, and she start eating your food. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. I'm like pushing through it, and I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah. And I'm about to eat it, and I'm just like. Oh. I tried a llama bean, nigga. Now, look, I'm going to keep it a buck. I used to be on a type time like, oh, no, I just don't want it. Because how it looked, nigga, I tried the bean. I'm ch I'm chewing it. I'm 
I spit it out on the table. I couldn't hold it in. It was too nasty. I'm like, no, Grandma, I don't want it. She, you gonna eat them fucking beans. I'm like, what? As she's saying that, she's scooping the rest off her plate. Plate folded like it's a bag of chips. Licked, licking the plate and all that. Dick her whole jaw. Sliver mouth. Nigga. I'm like, what? Nigga, what? Nigga! She just cleaned her shit like noodles! I'm like, no! Bro, no! So, I'm like, what? Bro, my plate not even touched. Because look, regular peas, like the, the green ones, they wasn't that bad. So I would eat a little bit of the green peas and eat the steak. But I need to eat the steak in order for me to get the green peas down. Because I still didn't like the green peas. The black eyed peas was 100% dead. And the and the uh, llama beans taste like mush. White mush. So I'm like, um, I'm like, Grandma, is it okay if I just get some noodles? She like, no. Ravioli? She eat your fucking food. She goes sit on the couch. And I'm like, she think I'm eating this food? I grab all the black eyed peas. I put them in my hand. I walk in the bathroom. Nigga, the bathroom is literally, like, right behind me. The downstairs bathroom right behind me. I go in the bathroom, drop that shit in the toilet. I piss. I flush it. I come back out, nigga. She's looking at me like Voldemort, nigga. Like she want to take my soul. She, where the fuck are your black eyed peas? I'm like, huh? She, nigga, you ain't eat all them peas? I'm like, Grandma, I might eat the peas. She, no, you didn't. Where they at? She go in the jaw. She trying to check it. I'm like, I told you. I'm going to finish those. Now I'm going to finish the llama beans. She like, all right, y'all, I look. It looked like she going to sit back on the couch. She go outside. I'm like, oh, she fucked up. I'm scooping the llama beans in my in my hand. As I'm scooping the llama beans in my hand and I'm ready to go in the bathroom, she coming back in with her folded chair that she sit outside with. She sit it right in the middle of the floor. She crack her open a new beer, start playing gospel music, sips her beer, and watch me eat, nigga. Now, I can't ever let her see that I got half of the llama bean, soaking out, llama bean juice soaking out my gripped hands and it's smushed up with beans. She like, take a, take a spoonful. So I'm like, huh? Nigga. Bro, I'm sitting there like, what? <laughs> I'm like, Grandma, I already ate the black eyed peas. I don't want to eat the llama beans. She like, won't well, waste food in this house. So I'm like, damn, bro, she's really frying me. So, bro, I couldn't hold it in no more. So I just, like, I was sitting there for 30 minutes, y'all, and it seemed like a long time because now I'm putting my head down. I'm falling asleep. She wake the fuck up. You feel me? I'm laying on my arm like this instead of laying fully down. She hit my back with a fucking, uh, she hit my back with a bat, a metal bat, hit my back. Wake the fuck up. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? She gonna take my spine out. Bro, I was, like, fucking 13. So I'm like, bro, what? So now, now I just, I give up, bro. I uncrush the beans and let them out fall on the plate. And she, what the fuck? I'm like, I was about to eat them, but she wanted to hit me with the bed. I'm trying to lie. I'm like, I just want to go to sleep. I just want to go to sleep. I'm like, I just want to go to sleep. She's like, you're not going to sleep till you finish that fucking plate. I'm like, but she, you know what she usually do? She say, if you're not going to finish this plate, you're going to finish it tomorrow. And she put it in the fridge. And I wake up before her and I throw that shit in the trash. And I fold up the trash bag, and I put it in the trash, the dumpster, across the street in the village, nigga. Far as shit, all that. She got to recook. I be cooking it. I think she caught on to it. Like, she used to wake up the next morning, cook a breakfast, and it was like, ah, we back on the right track. Make them fucking pancakes. No, she wasn't with it this time. She like, no, nah, did you eat the steak? I didn't want the steak now. Because now she got my stomach twisting thinking about the llama beans. So... I'm sitting there, and she like, you gonna eat? I'm like, I'm not gonna eat. Y'all, y'all know what I left it to? I left it to a stakeout. I'm like, let's see who go to sleep first. I put my, I put, bro, I put my arms on the table like this. Hand like this. I'm listening to the gospel. Not in my head, nigga. She's not in her head. I'm not in my head. Let's see who gonna crack first, bro, because I'm not eating the beans. I said what I said, though. Once you said what you said, that's what it is, right? So if I said no, that mean no, right? If she, if she gonna tell me, if my grandma gonna tell me, when I say no, that mean no. Why my no don't mean no then? I said no, I don't eat beans. How you gonna tell me you do eat beans? You gonna eat them here? This not, this not your mom house. This my house. The roof I'm on, determine the beans. The bean percentage I eat, nigga. I'm not eating the beans. 
So I'm sitting there, I'm like this, bro. I think I fell asleep at a certain point. I look over, I look over, she's still up. Yo, I say, Grandma, what time is it? Don't worry about the time. So we got a clock on the wall. I know how to tell time, nigga. I know how to tell time. Who does she think I am, nigga? So I look at the clock. Yo, the clock say three. I'm like, yo, she go to sleep around five. I will knock these two hours out, nigga. I hear Cubo on the TV, nigga. Pearly is on the TV. And I'm just listening to what they think it is, nigga. Hello? Where you at? Are you there? I am coming. You leaving? Oh, 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 no, no. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll be there in 20. I'm Fina. You sp you, you spitting some shit? You know that joint on my page? Yeah. Uh-huh. Finishing it right now. Mm, who in there with you? The guys. The guys. My man, my man, uh, my man Raw there. Raw money there. <laughs> we on our way. <laughs> this this raw. Yeah, sure. Raw, what's up, raw? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> raw, <fried. laughs> nah, I miss y'all niggas. I'm on my way, bro. No slide, bro. All right, bet. That nigga bro, bro. All right, I'm late, bro. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. All right, so I'm going to meet up with Brill. So let me finish. Let me finish. Look, though. Look, though. It's a stakeout, nigga. It's a stakeout. Y'all, I look at the clock, right? The clock say three. Y'all, I open my eyes. The clock say two. Nigga, I'm like, how the clock say two? It just said three. She, you know I don't go to sleep to five, so you better start eating them beans. I'm like, what? I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga, y'all, I swear to God on everything. It said 3 a.m. I look up again, nigga. It say 2 a.m. So I'm like, what? I'm like, bro, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to sleep, sleep, nigga. I go like this. I look, bro. I'm like, Ugh. I look, nigga. It say 1. It say 1, bro. The bitch is reversing the clocks. The bitch reversing the clocks when I'm taking these mini naps. She trying to dick my mental. Y'all, I'm like, what? Nigga! I'm like, what? Bro, my head like this? I'm like, no, I'm a dicker this time. Y'all, I'm doing this, nigga. Nigga, I see you changing the clock back to 12. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing, nigga? Nigga, I see her switching the clock back to 12. She trying to play mind games. She trying to play mind games. Bro, but you know what, bro? You know what's funnier? What's funnier is that it don't matter what time it is. You get tired at 5 because you over the age of 50. You lost. I don't even got to play light yagami with her. I just know in another hour, you going to be drowsing and these llama beans going in that toilet. I take my next nap. You think you got y'all? The biggest y'all. She would have dicked my cousins or something. Somebody that's smart. They would have started crying. I don't want to eat it. No, Grandma, please. Oh, listen. I'm not crying. That's why she hate me so much. She hate me because she thought I was gonna be defeated. No, knowledge is power, nigga. Knowledge is power. If you think everybody in the world is gone, dead, it's nobody nowhere. But they all just watch you on the TV. You gonna fly, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? If you know really these niggas watching me, you gonna show off a little bit. You gonna talk shit, too. If you know the ops watching you, they gotta... If you know there's a camera in your room and you not supposed to know, ain't you gonna say some shit you want them to know? Knowledge is power. If a nigga got a camera in your room and they not supposed to be watching you, I might say, yo, let's say the nigga watching me name is CJ. I'm gonna say CJ's a bitch. That's what I'm saying on my off time. Fuck him. I'm, I'm going to get on the farm and talk shit about him. Fuck CJ, nigga. Fuck this nigga. I'm on all that. Knowledge is power. I'm not even going to let you know I know. I want you to think you won. You lost. I won. I'm up. Fuck CJ. He going to come in the room. What? 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 What you talking about? I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. What? 
You know something I don't know? Tell me that camera here. Get the fuck out of my room. I'm going to call you another bitch. Money is, bro. Knowledge is power. I'm sitting there like, yes, I already know what's going on, nigga. I already know what's going on. You nigga. Nigga, I look over. She's sipping her beer. She getting a little dizzy. I already see it, nigga. I'm gripping up these llama beans because I'm ready to get them done. Nigga, I'm gripping the beans up. And I'm like, yo, the beans squish up nicely, nigga. You know what I do? I parry. Look, I parry my body to the right. Sit my elbow to the table. I act like I'm scooping, but I'm really scooping uh chop, ripped up pieces of steak into my mouth. Because I just gripped every single llama bean and put it in my jeans. So I'm gripping the... Um, nigga, bro, when you smush llama beans up, it turned to a little ball, nigga. Llama bean juice soaking out my pockets. I'm feeling like the man. Lips drooling from this steak. Bro, I'm feeling like the fucking man, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm eating a steak. She come over there. What the fuck is you doing? Switch your body, right? So I switch my body. I'm like, I just finished. I'm holding my stomach, y'all. My left pocket dripping with llama. <laughs> Food cold as shit. Food cold as shit, nigga. Food cold as shit. She, uh-huh, that's what the fuck I thought. And you ain't getting no fucking juice. Grab a water. Nigga, that's where she already lost. I go to the, bro, I go to the fridge. I pull, I pull my trick. I crack open the soda. No, grandma, no. Y'all, I shouldn't have played the that, bro. I should have just let her go to sleep. Laid on the couch, watched Cubo. Got as many sodas as I want. Threw the llama beans out. Y'all, as I try to hit her with the, no, grandma. And I'm trying to drink a soda too fast. She smacks the soda out of my hand. When she smacks it out of my hand, I'm like, yo, what you doing? My left hand fly open. I had some llama bean residue left. So all these llama beans fall out my left hand. And I'm like, oh, no. As that's happening, she look at my pocket. You pissed yourself? I'm like, piss myself. These llama beans. Y'all, I, bro, I'm like pissing the bed. Come on, you know me better than that. That's low. Even for you, grandma. Pissing the bed, grow up. No, nah, I'm a dickhead. <laughs> bro, bro, my grandma, I'm like, what the fuck? Start pulling out the beans out my pocket. She ran over there, y'all. I never saw my grandma run. She faster than my mom. Yo, she grabbed the belt. She's whooping my ass. I grabbed the belt. I pulled the belt. Bro, my grandma trip. She hits her knee. My knee! Y'all wonder, wonder where I get that joke from, nigga. She my knee! My knee! My knee! Oh, uh, Liz, her knee. I'm like, I'm sorry, grandma. I'm sorry. She fuck you. Bro, hits me with the belt, bro. But she not swing it. Like, you know how you fold it and then you do the shit to scare the kids and you hit them? No, nigga. She got the metal buckle part swinging, trying to take my fucking head off. I'm like, no. Nigga, she hit the door, put a hole in the door. Y'all, y'all know how many times the maintenance man had to come out and replace the doors in the house because it's holes in them? I don't even know who the fuck was putting holes in these doors. Bro, another hole in the door, bro. Another hole in the door. I'm like, Grandma, you gonna hurt me. She get the fuck over here. My grandma, my grandma, I'm not a grandma who can't get up. She getting up fast as shit, bro. She she hold the table, get up. I move the table because I don't want her to use the table to get up. Because she a little more immobilized when she down. So I move the table and she fall back down. I'm like, no, grandma, just chill. Just give me the belt. So I'm just trying to take the belt, bro. I'm just trying to take the... I really don't want to... I'm not trying to bub. I just want to take the belt. So I'm like, Grandma, just give me the belt. Just give me the belt. She's swinging at John daily. I'm backing up. She's trying to take my fucking head off, y'all. She calms down. And she say, help me the fuck up right now, Sherrod. I say, okay. Oh, TikTok just banned me, uh, I think. Oh, they just ended it. I don't know why. So she's like, help me the fuck up right now. As she's saying, help her up. I go to help her up, y'all. Y'all, she swings the belt. The metal buckle part hits the side of my head, and I feel like I lost my fucking brain. That shit just hit me. Boom. I'm just like, ah, y'all, my fucking, my, 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 bro, my, my brain, like, 
Yo, it hurt. Like, bro, imagine getting hit with the buckle of a belt. Like, hard as shit. A buckle of a belt, nigga. <laughs> nigga. My mom drawn. Bro, she drawn to the max capacity. Imagine getting hit with a belt. Bro, my fucking cranium was gone. Nigga, I was trying to dodge the next attack, but they just kept coming. It was like I was getting jumped by niggas. After I got hit, nigga, I'm only 13. I got hit with a belt buckle on the side of my head. Y'all know niggas get knocked out from right here or the chin? Bro, I, next thing I know, I'm getting socked. Swam, swam, swam. Everything blurry, nigga. Y'all, tears start coming out my eyes because I'm like, wait, grandma, my head. And she just whooping my ass like bet. Swam, swam. Imagine your eyes blurry and she just swamming the shit out you. Y'all, I had no choice but to take her out. I wasn't going to hit my grandma, y'all. I wasn't going to hit my grandma. But self-defense is key. My mom always... She, bro, she was going to kill me in that joint. As she's doing that, I'm like, Grandma, I can't breathe. I'm just exaggerating. She grabs the cane. Hit my legs. Now I'm falling down. I'm balled up. She hit me with the cane. Y'all, I went into life or death ride. I almost went super saiyan on her. Then she would have been sick. Oh, I usually talk to TikTok who right here, so I'm going to move y'all right here. Bro, she would have been sick, right? So, boom. I'm on this type time, bro. I had no choice. I grabbed her legs. Y'all, I learned in football. If you put a nigga legs close together and wiggle him, he's going to fall. He can't move. My grandma fall, falls back. I pull the belt from her hands. I wipe my eyes. I put the belt in whoop mode. I hit the squam. She said, right, I wish to fuck you. Swow! She had to catch one to her ass. You need your ass whooped for your actions. Did you just fucking swam? Swam! I'm whooping her ass. <laughs> Bro, nigga! Swam! I'm whooping ass, swim. Bad as shit, nigga. My Uncle Reese just moved out, bro. After that, bro, I dropped the belt. Asses has been whooped. I'm running to my Uncle Reese house. I run to Uncle Reese house. He's like, what happened? I told him every single thing. The nigga punched me in my chest. I get beat up. And on like and when you walk in his house, it's an apartment, so it's it's downstairs where you could just put your shoes at, and then you walk upstairs. I tell him everything that was going on, bro. I'm thinking he's going to defend me. He start whooping my ass at the bottom of his stairs, bro. Bad as shit. Bah! That's my fucking mom! Bah! Bah! All chest shots, all this. I'm crying, bro. Bad as shit. I'm crying, bro. I'm crying. <laughs> bro. Ma, bro, but all I said was I whooped her ass with the belt. Now, what if I said I hit her with a metal buckle on the side of her head, hit her with a 10-piece combo to the chin and, and uh, tempo, and then, I, and then uh, I hit her with a cane while she was down? No. All I did was tackle her and hit her with the belt five times. That's all. You feel me? Over beans, though. So he whooping my ass, bro. They calling my mom, bro. My mom probably somewhere drinking a margarita, chilling with her gay friend. I'm just like, bro, what? He bring me back over there. My grandma whoops my ass, bro. She make me get in the shower. She make me get out the shower. I'm standing there with my drawers, holding them books. If I drop the books, I get hit with the bat. If I keep the books up, I only get whooped with the belt. She's whooping my ass as I hold three encyclopedias up in my hand. I drop one of the books, and I'm thinking she's going to hit me with the bat. She say, pull your hands out. She put my hands out, bro. She grabbed the brush, a wooden brush that you would brush your hair with. Swam! I'm putting my hand, like, I'm curling my hands and like, no, Grandma. Put my hands out again. Swam! Nigga. I never got your hands beat with brushes. I'm trying to tell you. Now hold them books. Hands burning. It's harder to hold the books. And I can't hold the books like this. I'm holding them from the bottom. Swam, whooping my ass. While my uncle eat llama beans. Bro. 
bad as shit. Where the fuck was CPS? Bro, I told y'all, bro, my grandma really get in there, bro. She old school, bro. That's the way she get, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Slave? Nah, bro. I was getting my ass whooped. So while all that's going on and shit, like, I go to sleep crying. She say no TV. After she say no TV, she she like, I'm like, bro, I just bought this job. She like, no TV. She take all the juices, all the Kool-Aid, everything out the freezer. After she take this shit on loud as shit. Never mind. This shit on loud as shit. She take everything out the, uh, man, that shit feel good. That shit feel like that. Oh, she take everything out the freezer, bro. She go take it upstairs. All the snacks, bro. You know the only thing she leave. She leave three can of beans on the table. She say, feed yourself. I'm not watching you, bro. She stay in her room the whole time. Mom get back. I tell her all this. Bro, once my mom found out, like, I swung at her mom. She like, she just like, yeah, like. She snapping on my grandma, but she, she whooped my ass, too. So I got my ass whooped twice by my grandma, one time by my uncle, and one time by my mom. And then my aunts came and they gave me like they punched me in my chest too, for swinging on my grandma. So I got my ass whooped a couple times, for that. But yeah, that's how I fought my grandma. I won, bro. If it was just me and her, I would have stumped her shit into the ground. She was pretty weak. She just had uh she just had all that plot armor. <laughs> Cause she would have been got two hundred pump, nigga. She had plot armor in uh in a village with her. So I mean No nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, real shit. All that over beans, bro, that's what I'm saying. They had a whole meeting and all that. You know I actually brung brung the family closer. Like my family was beefing before that. Right? They was on the type time like beefing. And since I fought my grandma, everybody got invited down to the house. And when everybody came down to the house, they had a cookout. Everybody bonded like, yeah, I th he just lost his mind. Ah, ah. Everybody pulling me to the side and talks with me. That was like a week later. Like, you feel me? My mom was like, yeah, you can't wear your Jordans. She she took me to Ross and let me pick a shoe, a pair of shoes out there. But I was pretty calm about it. I wore some slides that looked like family dollar slides. She thought she was dicking me, but you feel me? Slides is, you feel me? And then y'all... Tell me why the story's just getting switched, bro. The story went to t the truth to, yeah, it all started because Sherrod just don't know how to keep his mouth shut. Yo, I sat at the table for three hours and didn't eat. Bonding over my stress, bro. Real shit. I'm just sitting there like, bro, what? It turned into, yeah, Sherrod just can't keep his mouth closed, so he had to, he had to be there and get his ass whooped. All this. Over llama beans, nigga. I don't know, bro. I gotta go meet Brill. I love y'all, bro. I was been supposed to be done. I said, I said, uh, uh, I said thirty. I said thirty minutes. I've been on here for an hour and eleven. Rate me right. All right, what's your shit? No, I gotta go, y'all. I gotta go, yo. If you if you still watching this on YouTube, if you made it to the end of the John, really let me know that you ride squad. Comment below, um. Comment Rod Squad below. They just gonna think y'all dick eating, but at the end of the day, if you comment Rod Squad, because niggas don't say that a lot, then I know you watched it to the end. So if you watching this on YouTube, comment Rod Squad. If y'all be watching the story times on Twitch and y'all be on a type time like, um, y'all be on a type time like, oh, I already saw that, John. Just click the like button for me, y'all. I'm really trying to get y'all like to uh click the like button.